Hi, I'm Randy Altman with Post Perspective. We're here at NAB 2019, and this is Mark Tobin from Hello. Array, which is um, a new company which is making sort of its, a, its debut here at NAB. Why don't you tell people what you guys do? Okay, so yes, we are making our debut here. Um, Array is a, a company based in Silicon Valley and Mountain View. We're a venture bank company, uh, which is probably a little unusual in this space. Uh, free revenue, we just have our first product releasing this week called Deep Track, which is part of a subset of a, of a software suite that will be called Deep Studio. Um, and Deep Track is really an AI-enabled computer vision software base tracking solution uh, for both camera and object tracking. Um, and this is yeah, a coming out party, so yeah. to speak. And we're just starting today, and then later on in the year, we're going to have um, something we'll call Deep Mat, which will be segmentation, sort of essentially rotoscoping okay. and in real time, and, and then Z mapping, so depth mapping. That is a big deal. That's a big deal, <laughs> yeah. That's sort of the holy grail. Yes. And how Array is structured is it's really a, a bunch of very smart people. Uh, the, t the total company of 24 people, 20 of which are um, computer programmers, computer scientists, uh, vision specialists. It was founded by Gary Bradsky and Ethan Rubley, who are two luminaries in the computer vision AI field. And they came together and, and really, Gary started computer, the open source computer vision library and they realized there's loads of potential in less sort of post-production content creation and they really wanted to find a way to automate and empower content creators with sort of special powers so they, they wouldn't be able to access but just by themselves. And we Great. want to make AI-enabled solutions to allow content creators to, to use AI solutions without having a PhD. Right, and to enhance the creativity, not take it away, but to, to bring them yeah, closer to exactly. their vision. It's really about enabling content creators and, and automating the sort of the more drudgery part of content creation, you know, the, the tracking, the mapping, all the sort of problems that where content creation really starts is of those sort of fundamental building blocks. And we wanted to be able to automate that and allow people to focus on being creative. Um, and then so what we, what we want to do over time is what Gary calls solve the inverse graphics problem, which is a, a big theoretical, um, but I think it's going to be, it's achievable, which is over time we'll be able to acquire all the volumetric and lighting information from the scene and essentially take apart any footage and augment it with any kind of other CG, AR materials, mixed reality materials, and sort of essentially put it back together again and sort of gamify content creation. So a lot of what we're doing is based on, you know, the Unreal Engine obviously that's become now a big player in the space and Unity and, and things like that, and, and allowing content creation to be almost become real time. You that's guys, the long vision. Right. But the, the vision of today, now you guys have partnered with the Future Group. Can you talk yeah. about that a bit? Yeah. And, um, so we're partnered with the Future Group. We, we're, we're sharing a booth with them here on, in the South Hall. And then we have our own booth in the startup loft in the North Hall. Um, and for the Future Group, they have this great graphics rendering uh, skin that sits on top of the Unreal Engine. And we're providing a tracking solution for that. And what's unusual about us, there's obviously there's loads of tracking solutions out there today that work perfectly well, but they're largely hardware based. Um, so you've got to buy a camera with a witness camera or, or some kind of encoders. And what we're, we're really solving for is a software based solution. So with the Future Group, it's a natural fit. They, they've got the sort of graphics compositing part and we're bringing together sort of the real time software based tracking solution. So I always say we're bringing the physical world to the digital world. Have you guys combined on a project yet? Um, not yet, that's the goal. Um, we're combining in terms of we're embedding uh, our product into their product and sort of essentially just they're a channel partner for us. Mm -hmm. We're looking to um, extend that relationship and make it a deeper relationship. The company's very much aligned, both companies um, culturally, strategically we feel like together we're, we're very strong, compelling products set together. So right now we're just we're um, in conversations, we're, we're you know, sharing a lot of knowledge from an engineering front and we, we want to find uh, ultimately a collaboration with the project. Gotcha, now you, you come from the post-production side of things. I do. So um, what, just give us a little bit about your background but also talk about how that is going to help um, with Array moving a right. little bit into um, post-production post and VFX. Okay. So yeah, I mean I really started, actually years ago when I first 
probably heard of you. Um, and, and then I was reminded by Avid yesterday that it will be their 30th anniversary, I think, either this year or next year, which made Jeez. me feel, yeah. yeah. Um, so I started as an editor actually in New York and, and worked for some great places there, WNET, HBO, places like that. And then I ended up becoming a producer and I worked at this little company at the time called Method. When I, when I was there, I think it was all of 15 people. Um, and that was this great company with amazingly talented people. And then from there I went to work with uh, Angus Wall and Linda Carlson at A52 and Rock, Paper, Scissors. And then I was lucky enough to be asked by MPC to open MPC in the US. Uh, and that was wonderful and I built a studio for them in Santa Monica and I built a studio for them in, in New York. And then I was asked by the founders and the group at PSYOP to go uh, help them and, and build up PSYOP and make that a, a great company. It, it, it always has been and just uh, they wanted to put some sort of structure around it and, and help grow it and so I went and did that. Um, so I've been in the post-production visual effects world for a long time I guess um, and I really wanted to find something new and different to do and sort of leverage what I'd done before in a, in a new way and AI was always really compelling and also real-time content creation I felt like there's going to be a push into that brands want it how we how we visualize things on set now increasingly through virtual production I just felt like there was this confluence of, of things coming together and how did I fit into that and you know you have offers to go do all sorts of other things and I wanted to do something that was going to stretch me intellectually and Brandon who's the Brandon Dowdle who's the CEO of, of, uh, of Array and Ethan Rubley who's the founder and uh, at that time the CEO asked me to come and help them and lend my sort of post-production knowledge and relationships to, to them and help sort of shape the product and, and the product vision and the marketing vision and then Ethan asked me in January if I would take over the CEO mantle which is a great honor, uh, so he could focus on the technology. And so I'm still involved in the post-production world. I have great relationships with a, a bunch of people that we all know here and love. Um, Technicolor, and we've been talking to Technicolor, MPC and The Mill, both Technicolor companies about um, uh, them licensing our deep track software into their virtual production capabilities. Um, we, those conversations are ongoing. Avid, we're talking to about embedding our tracking solution in with what they're doing. So there's a lot of let's say traditional post-production people, uh, companies that are interested in what we're doing, and we want to find a way to service them mm -hmm. uh, in a way that they have those relationships, they have those pipelines built, we just want to embed in that. We don't want to sort of change all of that process. They have yeah. all those relationships and knowledge and skill and pipeline base um, that would take us years and years and years to recreate. So that's been really wonderful for us, and for me it's like I know a lot of those players and, and I get to see them here, and get to go out to dinners with them and all those kinds of things at NAB. Sure, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to let you go and okay. meet with those people, okay. but um, if people wanted to know more about Array, where can they go? Um, Array.com, which is A-R-R-A-I-Y.com, and we're in the North Hall uh, booth N2333. Sounds and, great. And the South Hall with Pixatope, the future group. Ah, ah. <laughs> Mark, okay. thank you so thank much you. for coming. Really good to see you. Yeah, Thanks very here. much. Thanks. Okay. Randy Altman with Post Perspective and NAB 2019.